Good afternoon, Vicky. You ready for these 73 questions today? Good afternoon, Emily. I'm all pumped up. All right, let's get started. So first, tell us who you are and where you come from. I'm Vikshit Travikuma. I come from the land of unity and diversity, India. Oh, beautiful. So what program did you come to at KLU? I did my master's in global logistics and supply chain management. I graduated in September. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so looking back, why did you choose KLU for that program? Uh, actually, it was suggested by one of my colleagues back in India. Moreover, the portfolio of a course program was pretty interesting for me. And I think there's no other better place than Hamburg to study logistics and supply chain management. I completely agree. So are you happy with that choice? Of course. Perfect. So if you had to choose one song to describe your uni experience, what would you choose? I would say See You Again by Wiz Khalifa. Oh, beautiful choice. Thank you. And looking back, do you have an all-time favorite memory about KLU? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, last two months of writing a thesis with my friends together in the university, that's a memorable. Oh, I bet. So KLU is located in Hafen City. Do you like that area? Oh, yes. Uh, Hafen City is one of the liveliest neighborhoods in the Hamburg with lots of good, good views. Yeah, absolutely. So what are some other places you like? I would say Alsalek Lake and the hippie place, Tanshanza. Nice, good choices. Do you have a favorite restaurant in that area? Um, yeah, there's one uh, cocktail pub called Kadza. And also, a new addition is uh, Das Golden Eye in Stunz Strasse. Wow, both great choices. So are those one of your go-to go places in Hamburg? Um, yes, I would say Stadt Park during the summer with the friends for the barbecue. Okay, nice. Do you have a favorite food? Oh yeah, I'm a hardcore South Indian foodie but also I like currywurst. <laughs> Good place to be then. And what about any Indian restaurants in Hamburg you could recommend? Uh, there's only one South Indian restaurant in Hamburg, which is in St. Pauli called Mahadosa. All right, I'll have to check it out. So looking back on school life, did you usually prefer to study alone or in groups? Uh, I'm more of a teamwork person, so group work would be good. Nice, and is KLU a good atmosphere for group life? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, there's a lot of activities which happen, so yeah, it's, it's good for the group work. Perfect. What's your favorite school tradition that you remember? I would say coming early in the morning, receiving a warm welcome from Jamal and running towards the Shanza Bakery for the France portion. Classic. Is there a typical sentence or phrase that you would hear every day on campus? Oh yes, uh, moin moin and what's up? Oh, classic. <laughs> So can you tell us a bit about where we are right now? Oh, we are in the Kunal Nagel, so one of the largest uh, logistics terminal in Hamburg, consisting of five warehouses and two office buildings on a 12 hectare property. Oh, wow. And what type of logistics usually goes on here? Uh, in this multifunctional facility, uh, the arrays of activities such as contract logistics, road logistics, import and export processing for the sea logistics happens. A lot going on. Do you have any fun facts about this building? Oh, yes. Uh, Kunal Nagal is a big time promoter of net zero carbon, which is green logistics and uh, you know, all the power which we use for the lighting and heating in this property are being generated on the rooftop. Oh wow, great to hear. So tell us a bit about your job. Uh, I work as the project manager of sea logistics processing and uh, systems uh, on a global scale for Kunal Nagal. Okay, nice. And do you work at this location? Uh, no, I work in a corporate office right next to the university. How convenient. Do you feel like your degree at KLU prepared you for this job? Yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> Good to hear. So, back to KLU life. Were there any clubs or boards that you were involved with while you were there? Oh yes, I was a part of a student's ambassador program and also I was a member of admissions committee for last one year. Ah, and what's the admissions committee? Oh, it consists of um, a KLU president, three professors and an elected student member, which rules the admissions for the, of the applicants for the different study program. Big job. So how and why did you become a part of it? Oh, yeah, I was elected by the students of KLU. Um, I, some, in some means, I wanted to contribute to the future of uh, KLU, that's why. That's great. So are there any passions we should know you have? Mm -hmm. Yes, I like photography, especially street photography. If not this profession, I would have been a photographer. <laughs> that would be a good place. Um, do you have a favorite study spot on campus? Oh, yes. Uh, breakout room 01 because of the good view of Elfil Harmony and the student lounge for the comfort. Nice. And how would you describe the overall vibe of campus? I would say it's pretty competitive, but thinking beyond the academics, I guess it's lots of fun. Good. Do you have a number one tip to stay focused during your studies? Uh, I think taking a lot of breaks would help. 
Yeah, I would agree. And how many hours did you usually study per day at KLU? Uh, I'm not the kind of a person who studies a lot, so I would think that being attentive in the class would really help. Yeah, I get that. And how many hours did you sleep per night? I'm a sleepy head. Nothing less than seven hours. <laughs> Good. How did you usually get to school in the morning? I usually take public transportation. Okay, nice. It's pretty awesome. And sa same with work now? Oh, yeah. Perfect. How international would you say the student body is? I would say it's pretty international. You can see people from every continent. That's good. And how would you describe your classes in three words? I say it is innovative, intuitive, and interesting. And what about your professors in three words? I would say it's mm, inspiring, uh, inclusive, and again, I say interesting. Nice, good alliterations there. Do professors usually have an open door policy? Of course, I should be thankful to Dr. Uh, Rod Franklin because I disturbed a lot during my master thesis. <laughs> Always helpful. So what about any favorite classes? I would say uh, supply chain analytics and advanced supply chain because I like a lot of analytics courses. That's good. How do you usually de-stress? I would go for a run. Good choice. Do you have any personal heroes? Oh yes, APJ Abdul Kalam, the former Indian president and uh, he was also a, a scientist. Lovely. And when would you say you're at your best? I would say when I clearly know what's exactly uh, required as an end result and when I'm doing a teamwork. That's good to know. What was your biggest surprise after starting at KLU? I would say the warm or uh, the homely feeling at the university. Totally agree. What's the administration like at KLU? Oh, they're very friendly and you can access them anytime when you're in need. Okay, nice. So back to Hamburg life. What do you think is the best thing about Hamburg? I think the cosmopolitan vibe of the city. And what about the worst thing, if there is one? <laughs> there cannot be any worst thing of the home, you know? <laughs> and how do you keep fit in Hamburg? Um, I would say eat healthy, sleep well, mm -hmm. and if you have time, do some sports. Good plan. How many languages do you speak? I speak three languages. Nice, and what are they? Uh, Canada, my mother tongue, English and Hindi. Okay, and is it essential to speak German here? Uh, I would say it is always better to know German if you really want to blend in with the culture and the people. And what about for studying at KLU? Oh, it's, KLU is completely English, so it's not essential to study at KLU. Okay, good to know. So why do you think KLU chose you? I think because of my academical records and my previous professional experience. Okay, nice. If you could change one thing about KLU, what would it be? Hmm, we need our own Minza. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Did you bring anything special from home when you came to study here? Mm, yes, a bag full of clothes, a lots of Indian spices, a little knowledge about the logistics, and a eagerness to uh, expand my log knowledge. Sounds like you're prepared, huh? Thank you. So, what are you proud of looking back on the past few years? I think uh, the way of my outlook towards the life. I like that. So looking ahead, do you think you'll stay in Germany? I do not have a long-term plan as such, but for now, yes, I'm in Hamburg. That's good. And what do you miss now that you've graduated the most? Oh, I miss my friends, I miss classes, and I miss all the people at KLU. Perfect. So should everyone who watches this video apply to KLU? Without a doubt. No brainer. And why is that? Uh, I think it's a complete package of uh, logistics and supply chain who's really interested for that. Nice, great answer. That's gonna be a wrap. I thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. <laughs> See you next time.